Hey guys, Roger Jordan here. Uh, probably haven't seen a review from me lately because, you know, quarantine and we can't go out because, you know, cough, cough and all that. So, anyway, uh, I uh, have been, since I've been in the house and I have nothing better to do, I have actually made some clay models. And I have actually had experiences with some clay. I haven't had, ex like, I had experiences with clay. I made, like, my own clay sculptures or whatever when I was younger. And I haven't really been into clay that very much so then I kind of made my own clay uh, with some like materials that you could find around the house like like um, it was salt and it was um, uh, baking soda and I made clay and I painted it and I was uh, I did this one um, uh, if you guys have been with my channel a, a kind of a long time you know that I have been doing like stop-motion films or whatever like short stop motion films and this is actually a creature from my stop motion film called the wanderer um so it's the basically uh the long term of it it's basically just a giant monster or whatever uh it was actually originally made of like bionicle and lego pieces here it is here's its head um yeah he's just he's just chill out and so Basically, I'm just going to show you some details or whatever. I'm going to show you from the side and how I made it and whatever. So, uh, he kind of gets stuck in the carpet here. Uh, so, um, so I'm just going to put him on the side here. Uh, so, if you're wondering how he could stand, uh, he's not actually made out of solid clay. I actually made, like, uh, a metal armature inside of him. So, his body, his legs, his tail, and his feet... Are, and his head are um, uh, made out of metal wire that I made the body into. So except for the little um, little clamp pieces at the end, that's just clay that I stood up or whatever. And so basically, yeah, he's just um, he's just made out of armature and he weighs like a pound. So if I drop him, he's just gonna explode. But yeah, so just from the from the side here. Uh, you can see his very nice uh, head here. I, I use the example here. This is a Lego Ninjago dragon head or whatever, but I just liked it, so I used it. So you can see here that I have like the reds on his like spines on his side of his head and on the top of his head, which is um, right there. And on the bottom, uh, his jaw here, that's his jaw, and I try to make it like this. So I didn't did, did want to add another jaw because it would look weird. So I just used the kind of um, fireball pushy thing that came with the dragon. So I just used the bottom thing for the jaw. And I made him have like really dark and like kind of creepy looking eyes. And I actually like that uh, instead of just having like black and just black eyes or whatever. I try to make him look angry because he's supposed to be like a really dangerous creature. So I kind of made him look like he's kind of scary and dangerous and you don't want to mess with him. And um, and I kind of made like scales on the tail, like little like um, bone plates on the back. So it's kind of like he has like armor on the back of his tail and on his back. And um, so if you don't know what uh, this is, this is his tail claw, which basically uh, he can uh, grab uh, things with and stab him with a ven uh, venom. And the uh, little, um, uh, here's the Lego tail version. You can see that uh, his tail is split apart. So that's basically what it looks like. Um, so that that is the little um, hook claw thing that stucks Venom into things. And he can also grab, uh, since his tail is way longer than his arm. So if he's trying to get something that he can't get, he can use his tail to grab things. And uh, he doesn't have the thing because I couldn't make it stand up, so I just kind of get rid of it, but whatever. And these green pieces on here that's leading to each of the claws are supposed to be like the venom uh, things that are in the claws. So you can see like the, on the Lego version, there's a green Lego brick. So that's supposed to be like the venom or whatever, but I didn't want to make it just green around the edge of the tail because that would just look weird so I just used some green lines or whatever and I didn't want to make his claws and his feet look like they were white I kind of made them look like silver 
So that's pretty nice. And also, if you're wondering why, uh, that's his other hand. And his hand on that side has three fingers, and this one has two fingers, uh, because, um, I, it was not in my stop motion animation film. It was just like a game that I played with the Wanderer, the Lego one. And basically this uh, guy named Jackie cuts off the Wanderer's finger and he's basically trying to uh, get revenge for cutting off his finger. Uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, he, I gave him some teeth. I don't know if you can see that, but there's kind of just like bronze teeth. And that's pretty much the Wanderer. Not much to like go off of. It's just a clay model. So if you guys want me to um, if you guys want, want me to review more clay models, let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.